Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be finishing up the installation of the thermostat, which controls our warm liors in floor heated floors. finishing up the installation of the controller at the thermostat for the in-floor heat. So this is the uh, Wormlier's uh, non-programmable thermostat that I'm going to be using for this. And uh, this is kind of their, their baseline model, but uh, it looks pretty good. And uh, generally with the heated floor stuff, uh, you aren't changing the temperature you know, day and night and that sort of thing. They do take a while to uh, warm up and, and cool down just due to the mass that's uh, that's in the floor. And uh, in this case, I've only got it hooked up to a 120 volt circuit. It's not going to 240. Um, so it uh, doesn't have a whole lot of oomph either. So when you pull it out of the box, um, it's gonna kind of look like this and it's gonna have this guy attached to the back. Um, right at the bottom here, there is uh, one screw that you can see right there. Uh, yeah, undo that and then this part detaches from the back. So now we're looking at wiring it up. And here I've got the line side already hooked up. So this is going uh, to the breaker and this does draw 15 amps. Um, and so it's going to be on its own dedicated circuit. Um, nothing else is on this uh, particular circuit. Now they do give you a whole lot of cable length here. I got cable all the way down to the floor, so I'll have to trim that back. And then that's going to go here uh, where it says load. Um, so again, uh, it doesn't really matter which side you connect um, to which, uh, because they, they do have a double disconnect uh, in the unit. Then we'll uh, trim the thin wire and the small wire is for the heat uh, sensor that's in the floor that uh, tells you how, uh, or tells the thermostat how hot the floor is and whether it needs to cycle it on or off. So I'll get these wires trimmed up and uh, strip the uh, ends of the wires and then we'll start hooking it up. Right now I've got the wires uh, trimmed back uh, to the appropriate length or length that I can work with. Now on the power wire that's going down to the heated floor, um, it does have this uh, metal braiding on it once you get the plastic off. So you kind of get to get that back and then trim that back and then, uh, or trim that away. And then we'll uh, strip off the ends to attach into these two terminals here at the bottom. Stripped off the half an inch or so on each one and have those connected to the terminals. Now I've got the power on there. So the next step is to put this little cover that just snaps on and that just covers the terminals and sort of finishes off the pack there. So now I will insert this back into the wall and then uh, fish through the bottom here um, the cable required for the, uh, the thermostat. All right, so now I've got the uh, box turned around here. Now I've got my cable coming in here for the sensor in the floor. Now just how I'm gonna be, now this is a mud box. So this is an oversized box. So it actually goes into about here on each side as far as being, uh, as far as how deep it is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck all the power wires over uh, to the right side of the box here. And then I've got the sensor wire coming up on the left side of the box. So I'm trying to keep distance between the two um, so there isn't any interference because this one's measuring um, resistance and could be thrown off if it's uh, running too close to these power wires. Um, and they actually do uh, require that two separate conduits uh, be run uh, down to the floor to separate uh, the sensor wire and the power wires. So once you got that uh, that sorted out, then these guys here will go into the sensors in, um, so C and D slots, and it doesn't matter which goes into which, um, but you just need to make sure that they're in there and secure. 
Alright, so now I've got the two connectors into C and D and I've mounted to the wall. Um, now this slot, this one up here is slotted so it allows you to to uh, square it up. So I put a little level on it and made sure it was straight up and down so it looks good. And then the next part will be just putting on the cover. So the cover should slide on pretty easily. Start with the top. Push it in. There's one screw right on the bottom here that you do up to uh, to finish off. And then that's uh, finished. All right, so we're all finished up here. I hope that you found this video uh, informative and it has helped you uh, with tackling your own in-floor heated system. Uh, please check out the rest of my videos. I've probably got uh, 35 or 40 other videos on my channel, all covering uh, other DIY sort of home renovation and basement renovation topics. Everything from plumbing to electrical to cabinetry work, um, trim work, it's all there. Um, so if you are tackling any of these projects, please subscribe to the channel and please check out some of those other videos. Uh, I have no doubt that if you found this one useful and have watched to the end, that there will be a ton more videos on my channel that will also be of help for you. And I'll have more coming in the future that will also be of help for you. So please subscribe so that you know when I release new content and are kept up to date on that.